If students returning to universities in the fall are forced to take an all online class format, international students will not be allowed back into the United States to virtually take those classes here. The rules currently say, and have said for years, that you can't get a student visa if you're attending online only courses. And of course that does make some sense. When students are already abroad, uh, if they want to take classes at an American university online, they don't need a student visa to do that. But here we're in an unprecedented situation, and ICE had already recognized for the spring semester that when classes suddenly shut down and moved online, that they could be flexible. Now universities are working to make sure students can attend at least one in-person class so that international students can return to campus. UConn has more than 2,000 international undergraduate and graduate students. They said in an email to students that the ICE directive will cause severe disruption to the lives of international students. Many have stayed in Connecticut, have leases, and are unable to depart the United States given limited flights and travel restrictions. If many foreign students choose to drop out of school rather than have to leave and take classes at 1 a.m. in their home countries, I think we could see serious ramifications for university budgets across the country, which means fewer scholarships, fewer resources for stu American students, and uh, potentially some American universities being forced to shut down. The University of New Haven is already taking hybrid classes, but say they're fielding dozens of calls from concerned students. But if we were to lose um, you know, any significant portion of that population, it would hurt us. It, it, it would mean um, you know, some changes that we would have to make, uh, whether that's um, in, in services or you know, expense reductions and things like that. It would be, um, you know, it would be a change uh, into our, whether into our offerings or, or programs, et cetera. We will do everything that we can do possibly to, you know, from a health perspective first, but then to ensure um, that we can meet those guidelines. Um, you know, so the, the longer that we can go in this capacity, um, the better off that, that we are. The decision is currently affecting students for the fall, but if classes resume in person in the spring, then students who already have visas will be able to come back to the United States to take those spring classes in person. Taylor DiCello, Fox 61 News.